Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video on my YouTube channel Mr. B Diz Electronics. So today I will be showcasing this little device. If the camera will focus. So I won't be revealing anymore. Uh, so let's not wait any more time and get into the video. I'll zoom in on the device and so show you how it works, what it does and what all the parts that are used. So this is the device that I was talking about in the intro. So what is it you ask? This is basically an NTP watch with an OLED screen which is based on an ESP8266 WeMOS D1 mini module. So that's the gist of it but it's more exciting than that. As you can see the size is very minuscule in nature. The entire device is made out of MDF board. You can also use 3D printing or plastics or some other material but this is what I had at hand and I chose to make it. It looks quite good. I'll be just covering this up with the rest of the MDF part that has been already cut out. Uh, it has been left open for so that I can show, show all of my viewers what all are there in the inside. So first of all I want to show you that this is running of a 300 milliampere hour 3.7 volt battery. And just behind that, that blue PCB that is actually an ESP8266 WeMOS D1 mini board. And up front there is this 128 x 64 OLED blue slash white display, monochrome display as is. On the side there is an on off switch right over here and this is the WeMOS D1 mini micro USB port. And just to be able to program it later on. I left a space so that I can just use this reset switch of the VMOS D1 mini board. So that's basically the gist of the device. This is a very bare bones device using at most four parts taking into account the battery and the switch. So this is easy to make and very DIY friendly device as you can see over here. A word of caution. The ESP8266 WeMOS D1 mini board that is used over here as you can see there is a big module of the ESP8266 the silver part in between the battery and the PCB. So I used this type of ESP8266 board and there is also this one with the ESP8266 module soldered on uh, but I didn't have much luck with this exact module so I chose this one due to which the thickness increased just a bit as you can see over here. You can decrease the thickness by going for this module if you want. But uh, beware, but this uh, sometimes are faulty modules if you buy off of Amazon. Okay, now let's just see how the device works. Let me just turn it on. So this intro I added to it. So you can change it in the code as well as that front animation. And now what it's saying is that it's waiting for the smart config app to send the Wi-Fi information. So let's just do that. Let me just shift my camera to the phone. So this is the app for the iOS device, IoT smart config. What you do is you install it. You connect your phone, smartphone to the same Wi-Fi uh, network the credentials of which you want to send to the ESP8266. So let's just click on the submit button and let's focus on the device again. So it's saying Wi-Fi data received. So it's that fast. It just took the Wi-Fi credential or the uh, app smart config sent the Wi-Fi credential to the ESP8266 module and this process was done so that this device can be made portable and it can connect to any of the Wi-Fi uh, signals or Wi-Fi network you want and it's updating the forecasts and at first by default it will show this time of 1970 after a few seconds or minute depending on the internet connection the speed it will update the weather as well as the time and it should happen any minute 
and just like that as you can see the time has been updated along with the date the weather forecast this is today's forecast this one and this is the upcoming three day forecast and as you can see the beauty of this user interface is that the time as well as the current weather will always be displayed on this bar below so this is a quite potent little device which you can use on a daily basis as well as the battery life is quite good it lasts five to six days easily and charging only requires one hour maximum it's a very low powered device you can connect it to your hotspot on your phone and it will just give you the time and the weather what else do you want one thing i want to mention is that the code used over here in this is not my code this is actually an esp8266 weather station example code basically uh, into which i have added this uh, smart config app support wherein you have you can give whatever wi-fi credential you want to connect it to so that you don't have to go into the coding each and every time to change that so that becomes quite handy uh, and as usual the code link will be given in the description below as well as the very easy circuit diagram uh, if you want you can check it out so now let's finish making this into a real life watch with the casing complete as well as a band to match with it so i'll be pairing it with a steel band that i have and i'll be finishing up with the rest of the cut mdf parts so let's jump on to that part of the video here as you can see i have used an enamel copper wire to adhere the band or link the band to that of the case which has all been hot glued and fixed together And this is a very quick look on how it looks being worn on the wrist. As you can see, it looks a bit bulky. If you want to make it even more thin, you can go for the PCB route and make your own PCB with everything embedded. Uh, you can use other USB 8266 to make it even more thin. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something and got intrigued by this little cute little device which is very easy to make with very small uh, number of parts that is only four parts were used in making this. So if you like videos like this uh, consider subscribing to Mr. Beaders Electronics that is my channel and also like share and comment in this video and I have got other videos like this in the iCard up here. As well as in the description below, I'll link to some of my latest videos. Consider seeing them also. So my subscriber count has been steadily growing. All thanks to you, my viewers. And I hope that all of you will support me in my future endeavors also. With that, stay safe and peace.